All right, here I am with Ben Hackey at ALA 11. And um, you are the author of Zeta the Space Girl. And is it named for one of your daughters? Um, sort of, yeah. I have a daughter named Zeta. The, the name's been around for a long time in our family. Oh, very good. Yeah. All right, ready? I'm ready. Question number one is, how did you get started working in comics? How did I get started? Um, well, I did a lot of web comics early on. I actually did Zeta comics for the web. Um, and then I got involved in the flight anthologies. And, and um, the early flight anthologies I did a few stories for. And that was, that was really great. It was a good experience. Um, and then slowly I started getting interested in, in a Zeta book. And uh, the web comics had been um, just about a girl in space, you know, wandering through space. And I realized I had to tell the story of why she was out there in the first place. So, um, so that was the adventure that needed to become a book. All right. So question number two is, did you read comics when you were a kid? And if so, who were some of your influences? Oh, gosh. I absolutely read comics when I was a kid. Uh, I remember my earliest comic memories were, well, my earliest comic memory for a comic book was finding a Spider-Man, finding a Spider-Man comic and, being, and just being kind of blown away by it. And, it, um, and then I started riding my, I remember riding my bike, there was a nearby used bookstore, and the smell of all the old books and the old comics, and pawing through it. At the time I was really into ElfQuest, and uh, I would, but I didn't know that there were combined volumes, and I don't even think I could have afforded it, like when I was 12 or whatever. But I would ride my bike up to the thing and, and see if they had the next, the next one and, um, in the old long boxes. So that was a lot of fun. And before that, I was I was always obviously really interested in Calvin and Hobbes and Garfield. So uh, so yeah, I was kind of a comics geek for a long time. I thought I didn't have that many, but recently I went back and looked in my in my old storage tub where all my old comics are, and I found out how many like X Men and Spider Man comics I really had, and it's a lot. It's more than I thought. So so yeah, I have been reading comics a lot. Perfect. Um, so what are you currently working on? I am currently working on Zeta Two. Yay! Uh, I just this weekend was able to meet with my publisher editor and, uh, and talk about and talk about that. I have I have the manuscript right here all marked up. So um, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing now. The next I have a monumental task of coloring and, and editing it ahead of me. But uh, well, hopefully I'll draw fast enough to to keep everybody happy. Sounds good. All right. Question number four is: What graphic novel or comics titles have you read in the past year that you think are fantastic for kids? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I, I liked uh, the Amulet series. I enjoyed. Um, I enjoy. It's YA, but I really enjoyed uh, Vera Braskul's Anya's Ghost. Yes. Um, Reina's Smile is is always a big hit with everybody. It's so cute. And, and, Good. And uh, and I've got a hold of Dave okay, Roman's Astronaut me. Academy, and I've only had a chance to flip through it so far, but it looks like uh, both adorable and funny. So I'm, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. That sounds perfect. And our last question is, and this is the librarian one. Okay. If you were stuck on a desert island with only one book. And just go ahead and assume that you're going to be rescued. You don't need to bring a how-to book unless okay. that's what you want okay. to bring. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a comic. What book would that be? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go with The Everlasting Man by G.K. Chesterton. Uh, because it's just one that I'm... Uh, that book's kind of like home for me. I've read it many times already. And, uh, and I'm confident that I, I will read it again and enjoy it again. So, so if I had to be stuck there for a long time, I'd, I'd pick that one. That would be the one. Great. Thank you so much, Ben. I really appreciate it. I, I enjoy talking.